Oh, Barbie with the EDL, you have to press a button. <laughs> Afternoon, Patriots. Afternoon. We will never surrender to terrorists. Never. A thousand yards down that road is living a terrorist. A man who has supported terrorist atrocities, who have taken innocent lives of men, women and children living a thousand yards down that road. This man has supported terrorist atrocities in the UK mainland, in Europe and in the United States. And why is he here? At the expense of being you, the taxpayer. We have a right. It's our money, our money that is keeping him in that £100,000 house. Our money. So therefore, we have a right to say, I'm not spending it anymore. I'm not having my money spent bowing down to terrorists and their supporters. And so I, for one, as an English subject, demand his removal from this country. Yeah. I, for one, as an English taxpayer, demand the removal of the benefit-grabbing, terrorist-supporting scumbag, this Katara. Remove him back to Jordan. that a terrorist supporter, a terrorist, is given a £100,000 house. Well, £400,000 house, £100,000 in rent paid by us. A £400,000 house. Well, soldiers give their lives to come back to this country for the privilege of sleeping under a cardboard box in the street. We are not having it anymore. Ow. There will be a unification of movements in this country. We are all going to stick together to fight for what is right. Yeah. It is not about race. It is not about creed or colour or religion. It is about what is right. What is right for our country, for our England. I have no objection to anybody living here, so long as they abide by our rules. And one of those rules is we will not pander to terrorists yeah. or their supporters. Yeah. And so we have a right to say we are not having these people in this country. Qatar is not the only one. He has his supporters. We will root them out. We will be back. We will unite and they will be removed. Chowdhury! Yeah. Chowdhury, you see Get rid of them all. Thank you all for coming here today. Thank the police for being so tolerant, Paul. And then that uh, Paul here as well. Nice party organised. Thank you all for turning up. Look at this. A sea of St George's. Be proud to fly the St George. Don't anybody ever tell you you cannot fly the St George. It is our right to fly the St George. God bless. First off, I'd like to thank Tony. He's come a long way to show one thing. Unity amongst all groups, yeah? We're all here, different groups, all standing together. And why are we standing together? Radical Islam. From day dot, we've challenged this man. And we'll continue. When he's up in court, we will be there. Yeah? No matter where they hide these stuff, yeah? We're going to find them. This man has cost £6 million up to now. Yeah? £6 million of taxpayers' money. Yeah? In the times like this, when everyone's skinned, why are they not putting him on a plane? Yeah, send it back. It is as simple as that. Yeah, our government are too weak to actually challenge this. Yeah, so yeah, they put yeah, the, yeah. they put the blame on Europe. Well, guess what? We're not European. We're English. This yeah. is. Yeah. If it means we've got to pursue this man all over the country, we're going to do it. We've got people everywhere from different groups who are going to watch him. We've already dragged him out of one hand out of one ass. What did he do? Come here and start moaning. No, I've got a smaller ass. They're all outside my door. Get used to it, because we're coming back every single week until you leave the country. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to drive you out of this country. You're going to face us everywhere you go. If you go to the shop, we're going to be there. You enter your bin, we're going to be there. You're not getting another day's peace in this country, Katada. Yeah. Yeah, no one's here anymore. No, no one's here anymore.
Yeah, I've never won it though. Yeah, I never won it. Need your answer to Katada. Not another day's peace in this country. No surrender. Hey, no surrender. Right, well, yes, thank you for coming today. I know a lot of people, such as Tony Curtis and that, have come a, a real long way. I was hoping to be able to march, unlike the previous flash demos, I was hoping that we would be in the hundreds today. And I can guarantee you, we would have been in the hundreds. But yesterday morning, I had a nice laying in bed for the first time in a long time. And I was laying there and I got a phone call from our solicitor saying that I had to be at the High Court in central London by 2 p.m. to defend about five different patriotic organisations who were going to be injuncted from exercising their democratic legal right to protest on our own streets, on our own soil, by the taxpayer funded parasite lawyers acting for a terrorist Islamic hostile scumbag. So I went up to the Royal Court of Justice. And I was at the Royal Court of Justice and I was up against a whole team of barristers with years of experience from one of the most prestigious and acclaimed law firms in the country. And I'm sitting there, never, never spoken a word in court before, and all I've got is a little bit of paper with a few notes on it, given to me by one of our friendly barristers, friendly solicitors. And in my opinion, it was a foregone conclusion because this is a political, it's a political manoeuvre to stop us from mobilising and demonstrating outside his house. They give us 24 hours notice before we was up in court. The, the English National Resistance, Britain First, the South East Alliance and numerous others were up in court to defend our right to protest outside Katadas. Well, unfortunately, this time, because they sprung it upon us at the last moment, they've snookered us temporarily. But as I said earlier, Britain might have been walked all over in the early parts of the Second World War, but eventually we won the day. And I can guarantee you, we have two weeks now to prepare an argument and a case to have this injunction overturned. And we will do our best to get it overturned. And when we do, we will mobilise hundreds of our activists and we will meet up at the tube station and we will march on his house freely and legally. That's all I've got to say. So in two weeks we're back up in court. So keep posted. God save the Queen and long live the English nation. Go back 2005, they took up the campaign against Hook. We hounded Hamza. It took years, but Hamza has now fled the country. There's only one outcome for this. Katada will be driven out. The government can put what laws they want in front of us. They're determined to break the backbone. Their fear is that one word that's being bandied about today and in previous weeks, and that word is unity. Yay! 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 The government may try and stop us, the UAF tried to stop us in Brighton by throwing needles, syringes, bricks, coke, urine, everything over us. April this year, there's now a 95% chance the march will not be banned. There's still a long way to go, but we're virtually there. They won't defeat us, the government won't defeat us. It's not defeating me, Paul, Paul or Tony, it's defeating you as a united movement. We're nothing without you people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We are united! West Ham United, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Hopefully we'll come back, we'll see what happens in the court case. The one vow we, I can give you is, we won't stop and we will keep on until we get victory and we get Katada out. Not just Katada, the other scumbag that's being housed in Brighton. The I can't pronounce his name, so I'll leave out of us. But we're on to them and we will hound them. Radical Islam has no place in this country. I'd like to thank you all for your behaviour today. Once again, we've seen all the support from the local community of all races. Nobody wants him here. If we keep that up, what can the police do when the community back us? Thank you very much for your time and thank you.